Mark out the camouflage pattern 
a standard HB pencil was used to mark out the pattern. Once done, a mixture of thinned black and green paint was painted over the outline, marking where the green camouflage bands needed to be painted. Once dried, the first coat of Vallejo model color US Dark Green was applied with a small flathead paintbrush. After a second coat of dark green, a thin coat of the grey-blue mix with a hint of black was used to create a dark outline for the grey camouflage, creating a bit of tone into the paintwork. Once done, flat yellow was added into the dark green, which was then blended into the green paintwork. I also dry brushed over the grey segments a lighter shade of the grey paint made by mixing a few drops of white into the paint mix. After a few touch shots it was time to paint the yellow jet intake and the tail. This was done in multiple coats with plenty of drying time between each coat. To apply the decal of the distinctive black tulip markings of JG71 onto the model required me to cut each petal with a sharp hobby knife, applying each of the petals as separate decals with the aid of Micro Salt and Micro Set. After applying a few decals onto the model, they were left to dry for a few hours, then the rest were applied making the distinctive squadron marking to properly conform to the shape of the model. Once done, the rest of the decals were applied in the same way.
With the last parts glued onto the model, this project was completed. Before I show the completed model, I have got a special treat for you. A brief walk around of a real F86 Sabre that I saw and filmed here in New Zealand at the Classic Flyers Aviation Museum in Tauranga back in early 2021. Unfortunately, the footage is not the best due to the fact it was filmed on my old phone. However, it does make for a fitting end to this video. And with that said, I want to thank you all for watching this video, and good luck with all your ongoing scale modelling projects. Here it is, a brief walk around of a real F86 Sabre, followed by the completed model.